If you've never visited the Oregon Dunes before, this part of our state is a must see. We are spin reel ATV and dune buggy rentals for a wild ride. It feels like nature's roller coaster rides out here. I'm with Justin Height from Spin Reel. You guys have ATVs, dune buggies for rent, and these as well. Tell us what this is. So this one's a four seat uh, Polaris Turbo S and 180 something horsepower car. It's, it's fun. A lot of people don't realize what an adventure this really is. I mean, there are drop offs. You can get going pretty fast. Yeah, it's that, and that's the dangerous part of it is is the drop offs, but the rest of it, it's it's pretty fun. You can go out to the beach for about nine miles, and through this section, you got about ten miles of sand. So it's it's pretty fun out here. What kind of response do you get from people who ride in one of these for their first time? Uh, you know, at first, people are tend to be pretty nervous. It's it's pretty rad to to get to see people that have just never even seen anything like this, and it, it's a lot of really cool reactions from a lot of people for sure. We are with Rob from Basin Tackle for some crabbing. Can you talk about uh, the method used? It's not what we see on TV. Tell us about how you put the pots in. It's not quite deadliest catch, but you can pretend. You can pretend. You can have all the drama if you want. You, you come up to Basin Tackle, you get a license, get it online. That's the easiest way. You, uh, you rent or buy a crab trap, you get some bait, you put it in, you throw it in the water. But we're gonna let you in a little bit of a secret here when people are crabbing. They're throwing the crab ring through the air and it lands in the water. Don't do that. In fact, if you do that, you're lessening your chances of getting crab. Because what happens is that's a giant dinner bell for every pinniped. So every seal and sea lion in the area goes, did you hear that? They're about to feed us and they'll come and steal your bait. So sometimes it's about being sneaky. You just lower your crab stuff into the water, let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes and pull up crab. And this is always available to you. 365 days a year, these docks are open to the people. We are with Janice from Oregon's Adventure Coast. Adventure is your middle name, Janice. There's so much to do out here. It really is. Adventure is our middle name. From hiking, biking, kayaking, water recreation, fishing, clamming and crabbing, and the Oregon dunes. You just can't miss having a great experience out here on the South Coast and Oregon's Adventure Coast. So the Mill Casino in Coos Bay has multiple restaurants with great seafood on the menu, but there's a lot of boat to table eating options when you come to the South Coast. That's correct. We have recently seen this amazing food evolution down here on the South Coast and all of this really fresh, wonderful cuisine is coming out of some of these amazing kitchens. 